I'm very much looking forward to this conversation. Uh, Toyota by CFAO started distributorship of Toyota vehicles in Nigeria last year, and they've successfully gained an appreciable number of uh, clientele base. Now, the company is authorized to distribute, sell, maintain, and repair Toyota products in Nigeria. Its parent company, the CFAO Group, is also a subsidiary of Toyota uh, Sushur Corporation. We're very happy to have the managing director of Toyota by CFAO, Mr. Boye Ajayi. Lots to discuss. Good morning to you, sir. Good Thank morning. you so much uh, for, for joining us. Um, so, yeah, how, what... You know, for anyone who's going to walk into a dealership and buy a car, they, they can't really differentiate who's who. What differentiates you from the other dealerships in Nigeria? So, uh, th thanks and thank you, and it's nice to have to have me on the show, right? Uh, so, in terms of what differentiates us, there's a couple of things, right? Um, one is from the structural, what people will know outside is the fact that uh, we are Toyota by CFO, we're an authorized distributor, right? Uh, so a lot of people do not know the difference between a distributor and a dealer, right? Mm. A dealer is the person who retails to take care of the customer. And the distributor is the person who represents a manufacturer in that country. So they are the ones authorized to import the vehicle. They are the ones who interfaces with the OEM. So we are the second distributor. Uh, I'd say one of the key, th one of the things that differentiates us is the fact that we are part of the CFAO group, which means we are present in 37 countries. So the largest automobile distributorship network in the continent is CFAO. But I guess what also makes us different is that we are a subsidiary of Toyota because CFAO Group um, was acquired by Toyota in about 2012. Uh, so that's some things that set us apart. But in terms of what actually the customer um, expects to feel to gain will be our approach to business and our approach to, to what the customer needs are. Essentially, we are structured or set up uh, to take care of the customer. In fact, one of the things that we say we're about is we want to redefine the customer experience when it comes to automobile and owning vehicles. Okay. So since you've been established, what's the milestones, achievements? What's the journey been like? It's, it's, it's been an interesting journey, right? Because, I mean, when we started, we wanted to really go out to understand, to do what we call voice of customer, to know what are the real pain points that customers have. So initial uh, few months after we started, this was what we focused on. And then we realized that um, after sales support, customer getting value for their vehicle was a primary thing for them, was something that they considered very important. So we've invested a lot in actually recruiting the right talent, uh, whether it's the technicians, the, the, the after sales team, the, the sales um, executives or the customer care but also investing in training these people, right? And then we've also been able to establish in our three primary locations, having our own facilities, uh, sorry, in three cities, right? Um, two in Lagos, uh, one in Abuja, one in Port Harcourt, uh, where we are. So uh, these are some of the milestones that we've achieved since, since we started. And how's the market? Uh, because look, I was just in my pre prior segment, I was just talking about how the yen is getting weaker, yep. which actually would, um, and the, the Naira is appreciating a bit, so that actually would make Japanese vehicles coming in cheaper. actually cheaper, right? So your timing is very good. <laughs> so but how, has, um, how has the market received you guys? I, I think the market has received us um, quite well because, I mean, being the authorized, having because if you think about it this way, we have two great uh, brands uh, behind uh, backing us up. One is Toyota, which is very well known globally, but the second is CFA, which is very well known in Africa. Uh, so, in fact, the way we say it is CFO is known for its distributorship network, its commercial agility, uh, invest in the continent. Toyota is known for quality. So imagine a, like two co a collaboration of these two great brands uh, offering to Nigeria because the market has actually received us quite well. Uh, we've been, been engaging with and we've been involved in a lot of engagement with our, um, our stakeholders to be able to listen, to understand, because we are not necessarily new to the market. Toyota is not new to the country, right? Neither is CFAO. Right. So the customers, uh, it's the important thing for us to understand what are the pain points that the customers have been facing? Uh, what, are the, what are the gaps? What's been missing? And when you say in your automobile needs, right? And then coming up with trying to create solutions that actually address these needs of the clients is, is one of the things that we've done. And based on what we've been able to achieve so far, we feel that the reception has been quite, quite well. So I want to ask you about the models that you have yep. available. And I guess we, when we talk about models for vehicles, it's got to be within the context of where we are. We have roads that need improvement, right? So um, we, what, what models are available for, right. for So, so the, the interesting thing is we actually offer the entire range of models that Toyota has approved for Africa, right? Um, the, 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 uh, 
key point of fact to note is most African countries actually run uh, more diesel products than petrol. Nigeria is one of the, I think, less than, uh, less than five countries actually do that, right? Uh, but from your, um, your city vehicles, your sedan, starting from the Starlet, up all the way to your uh, mini SUVs, um, to your large SUVs, the commercial vehicles, Hiluxes, um, highest buses, coasters. Um, so we, we, we offer the entire range of what's, um, what's authorized. Now, the, the thing is, we also know that because of the large volume of import, especially from North America and other places, there are some North American models that find their way into the country. Uh, so we are not authorized to uh, import or sell this, this uh, range of models. But what we do is that we do support and maintain uh, these vehicles as well. I think a very important conversation, now we're talking about models, so somebody buys a vehicle, what's the after service, after purchase service like? Thank you for that question, right? So actually we believe that the, the, the strength of Toyota is actually in the total cost of ownership. I mean, if you tend to compare to say, what's the cost of acquiring, people just think of the CAPEX, the initial purchase price, but where you actually enjoy it is, is, is uh, what you spend on the car throughout its lifetime. And one of the things that we've done is that we, have, we are developing a network to be able to ensure that customers who purchase Toyota vehicles from us are able to get um, authorized service centers where they can maintain to ensure they get value for these vehicles. Remember, your vehicle comes with um, undisputed three years manufacturer's warranty, right? So which means you buy a Toyota vehicle from us, you are sure that 100% of your vehicle is covered from any, de any defect from, from the manufacturer, right, for three years. And for those who want, we are able to extend that for up to seven years. This just goes to the quality and the trust that we have in the product that, that we sell. Uh, but we're able to provide after-sales uh, support to those who acquire vehicles from us uh, to ensure that they get uh, there are no, um, should I say, downtimes in, in use of their vehicles. Okay, so if I'm going to ask you about purchasing a vehicle, I have to ask you about financing packages, yeah. right? Because the economy is what it is. So <laughs> what, what are the financing packages or, or you know, for folks who want to purchase a car? Well, actually, um, we, we have two broad ways of, of looking at financing, right? So we actually have a sister company, a subsidiary of CFA called Lux here. Uh, Loxia does long-term leasing, especially for blue chip companies that, uh, that have proven financial record, right? So this is one way we're able to offer financing or lease model to those who want this, right? The other way that we do that is for those who have existing relationship with their commercial banks, we've partnered with a few commercial banks as well to be able to offer financing package uh, to the customer. So these are the two broad, broad, broad ways that we do that. Now, uh, as far as the technicians, can you talk about the technicians that you employ? Yes, yeah, well, th this is one of the interesting things that brings a smile to my face when I think about technicians, right? Because they really are the heart of our operations because we believe that for you to get the best out of your vehicle, it, d it depends on who's touching your vehicle, right? So we actually go to recruit our technicians, it's a very rigorous process uh, to be able to recruit technicians. And then, but once they come on board, we expose them to the global Toyota, um, should I say, training, and then they get certified and go along the journey where, where that's concerned, yeah. All right, um, it's just, I look, it's, I love talking about cars. There's just so much to discuss. The nationwide network, uh, your network that you have, how does that benefit the customer living in Lagos versus another state? You know? So the, I, I tried to speak about this earlier, right? So in Lagos, we do have our own facilities, our own centers, right? Um, in Lagos, there are two currently. It's going to expand um, in this year. Uh, we also have one in Abuja, one in Port But beyond the facilities that we own, one of the things we're also doing, because as a distributor, we are able to appoint our partners, whether that's dealers, authorized service centers, or depending on what scale or the capability that they have, right? Uh, so what we do is we are currently going on that journey now to identify partners that can partner with us, because in doing this, we do two things. We create more business, we create jobs, right, for people. Uh, so this is one of the things that we're doing. So uh, if there, uh, what I'd say is there's anyone who uh, you can find an authorized Toyota service center, authorized dealership close to you. Just keep watching this space. You see them still authorized um, um, partners coming up shortly. So what, what's the future like? Uh, we've got to round off now. Uh, as far as your outlook for the car, look at my prior segment, I was talking about you know electric vehicles. That seems yeah. to be the conversation. Although yeah. to, I must say, Toyota had astutely, as on the global level, decided to sell hybrids, yeah. you know, half and half. And it looks like it's helped them out while EV sales have kind of come down in Europe and other areas. So what's the future? 
future? I mean, as you look ahead for your expansion, possibly bringing EVs here, what, what does that so, look like? Actually, one of the things that we, we have is the future for us in a country like Nigeria, the potential is massive and the future is bright if you are able to provide what the, what the nation needs, right? But generally, the strategy for Toyota isn't just one phase in terms of just EV. I mean, there are, there are several models that were, several uh, technologies that are being deployed. You have your, your battery EVs, you have your electric EVs, you have, your, uh, you have the hybrids. And the whole idea behind this is we don't want to just put um, a one-size-fits-all because depending on uh, the location and where the customer is, the customer need, uh, you could find, so for example, e electric EVs in a country that we cannot even generate enough power to run, right. uh, that, that, that brings a different <laughs> conversation. A so a, a way to yeah. be able to do that is st probably starting with hybrids, and, and these are products that, that we're launching, right? So yeah, I guess uh, optimistic about the future, yeah, as far, very, as, uh, very as, far as your market, market share is concerned. Very positive. Mr. Uh, Ajay, Mr. Boy Ajay, Managing Director, Toyota by CFAO. Thank you so much. I got to have you back. We're we'll talking about manufacturing. We know we're talking before we, we, we came we on We need here. to do that. Yeah. That's going to be an interesting conversation. Indeed. Thank you so Thank much. You. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for being here.